Well, and unfortunately, it's more fake news from the great hater of fake news. I mean, as, I think as Google said that, you know, that there, there was no bias, that there was a, um, the, the video that the, 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 li the link on the homepage to the State of the Union, they, they gave Trump um, exactly the same treatment as they gave Barack Obama. So the bigger question here is, what is he doing? Um, is he declaring war on big tech, and can anything, can he achieve anything out of it? Um, and you know, in terms of the sentiment around big tech and public sentiment around big tech and uh, big tech. And whether there's political bias, certainly ranting and raving on Twitter about it will go some way to perhaps tilting his supporters against big tech and companies like Google. But beyond that, it's hard to see what the end game is here. Yeah, I mean, the idea being Google's hitting back, you know, the, the Trump, the, President Trump, and, and we highlighted this yesterday, but I think it bears repeating, is that President Trump has now gone after, let's call them three of arguably the most mm. important five or ten stocks in the United States, if not the world, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet. Yeah. They're big in market cap, they're big in indexes, yep. they're big with mutual funds. I mean, mm -hmm. this is an attack mm -hmm. on, on many of these names, by the way, and the market doesn't seem to care, Matthew. No, it doesn't because the market knows it's all hot air and, and there's nothing really that he can do. I mean, Larry Kudlow, your former colleague, said yesterday that, that uh, the administration was looking at ways to regulate Google. What are they going to do? How are they going to regulate Google's search engine? Um, I mean, they, you know, there's a lot of talk about breaking up tech, especially in Europe with the things that... Uh, sort of egregious uses of data, um, Facebook and um, Cambridge Analytica, issues like that. But, you know, literally st looking for, for your name on, on Google and being upset about the results does not constitute big policy movement. Um, and shouting and, and ranting on Twitter, um, you know, again, changes sentiment. But beyond that, as the market gave it a big shrug, and I think that's probably what most of us should be doing too. Well, I, I, there, are, there is, you, you say he can do nothing, but there is some school of thought that, Matthew, that maybe with Amazon and maybe now with Google, mm -hmm that the president may be either nudging, mm. hinting, or trying to set up some kind of U.S. government antitrust action. Mm. Which, you know, w would have possibly have some merit if there was something legitimate to investigate. Uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine if, if, if there is. I mean, if the basis of this is I don't like, you know, what I see on the news in the newspapers or on news websites which are critical of me, uh, that's not a basis for policy. And, you know, the, as, we all, as we know, the Google search algorithm takes into account a multitude of different factors, right? It, where you are, what other people are reading, uh, you know, various things. There, there isn't really a political bias in, the, in the, how the Google search algorithm works. I mean, I looked yesterday when, when, you know, when I read that, that uh, the Trump tweet, and searched for Trump news, and two of the top three results I got were from Fox News, which I don't think he'd call fo um, fake news or bias anytime soon. So it's all relative.